Kanye West's anti-Semitic statements have led to major fallout from numerous brands, corporations, and even fans, some burning their pricey Yeezys in protest. But for one local business owner that sells designer duds and Yeezys, making a statement against hate is very personal. Not only is he Jewish, he's the son of a Holocaust survivor. She was hidden underground, escaped the concentration camp, was an only survivor of the Holocaust. I'm a, a child of a Holocaust survivor. Protecting people of the Jewish faith from hate is deeply personal for Michael Mack, owner of Max Pond. His mother, Judy Mack, lived through and survived the Holocaust in Poland. Since Kanye West took to social media and recorded interviews spewing anti-Semitic statements and stereotypes, the business owner, who sells designer duds for a living, decided to take a stand. As a Jewish American, how do I sell Yeezys in my store? I mean, it's like having a swastika. Michael says he thought about burning the Yeezys like others have done. But his mother made it a mission to build up the Jewish community, teach about the Holocaust, and donate to the Anti-Defamation League. He decided to do the same. In Clark County, we have a religious school at Temple Beth Shalom named after my parents. Four pairs of Yeezys. I love them. They're the most comfortable tinny I have. I can't wear them. So I brought them in and we're gonna sell them, get rid of them. So why can't you wear them? It just doesn't feel right. I, I, it's like wearing a shirt with a swastika on it. A small contribution, $10 for every shoe I sell to the ADL. He's selling the Yeezys at cost or a steal. On Wednesday, one went out the door for $85. They can retail for 700. He says he can't and will not make $1 from the items of someone who continues to speak hate. I'm gonna take a financial hit. I've made a decision that I don't need a profit from it. You gotta to continue to educate those because we do forget. And those kind of things you just can't forget. In this economy, a lot of people are selling or pawning designer goods like Yeezys for cash or a pawn shop loan. Michael says the store is gonna to continue to accept these items to help people in need. He just won't make a profit.